Wreathed in smoke and scorched by fire, Gaza City is cut off. With casualties rising, its population of almost half a million people is being bombed from the air, shelled from the ground, and now surrounded by advancing Israeli troops. And for both sides, it threatens to get worse. Gaza will be Israel's graveyard, Hamas warns, but Israel said it lost just one soldier in the first day of ground combat. Israeli soldiers are currently in combat operations in Gaza, and we know that we will take casualties. We didn't enter this operation because we wanted to. They did it because they had to, said Prime Minister Olmert at a cabinet meeting, to stop the barrage of Hamas rockets raining on Israeli communities. But the rockets haven't stopped. More than 30 fell on Israel today. The mayor of New York was among visitors on a government tour, endorsing Israel's policy and sharing its pain. The Israelis have no choice but to use their, uh, all of the resources at their command to protect their citizens. We would do exactly the same thing in New York City. Outsiders can't get into Gaza. Israel's sealing the border. In the picture getting out, though, there's an abundance of pain. The medical center is a scene of mayhem. The wounded are pouring into Shifa Hospital. Understaffed, overwhelmed, ill-equipped, and the best there is in the Gaza Strip. But according to an Israeli intelligence official, it's not just the injured who are seeking refuge there. The hospital's also a hiding place for some leaders of Hamas. Analysts here say Hamas is still functioning and still effective. For Israel to stop the rocket attacks, it needs to stop the men behind them. And it just can't do that simply by bombing from the air. Russ? Richard Roth, thank you so much.